I had just gotten into weightlifting when everybody found out that it was a possibility that we could go ahead and put together a women's team and that it was officially an Olympic sport. I always had the confidence that I could make the team. Just, just the way the events unfolded in my weightlifting life, I saw myself getting stronger and I saw myself getting better at competing. I got trained to go to competitions and, and end up on top. It's a very terrifying idea to go to the Olympics as a, as a child, essentially. It, it was like being on a, di a different planet and the excitement of it being the first time that a group of ladies could go to the Olympics. You know, you wanna represent your country with grace and you wanna fight hard you want to show the world that, you know, the ladies on the side of the pond are strong too. The orchestration of the whole thing, to know that you know, like the legions of volunteers and, and everything that has to come together to make this event happen is because you want to lift weights because it is a, it's a, a sight to behold going. Like if you haven't been present at an Olympic Games, it's, it's madness how many people come together. And I think it's, it's one of the few times you can feel that kind of energy is at the Olympic Games when people come together like that. And it's sacred energy. Tara Not Cunningham, my teammate, had just been awarded the gold medal because her, she, she originally placed second place, but her competitor who got the gold medal, Bulgarian, tested positive while we were still, still there at the Olympics. So. She got stripped of her medal and they, they were giving it to Tara. And the USOC wanted to, to have her reissuing of her gold medal to happen during my weightlifting competition. And she refused. She was like, no, I'm, I'm going to see my teammate like compete in the Olympics. It just it speaks to the incredible woman, um, you know, that she is and, and, and how we felt about this opportunity that we had to share with one another in this moment that we were sharing together. I had missed 122.5 kilos at the trials. We went straight from 120 to 125, and uh, I remember the barbell passing by my face really fast, and then it was just over my head. But it was an amazing day, and, and one that if I, if I didn't have memories of and somebody just told me happened, I wouldn't, I wouldn't believe you. Knowing, knowing what the Olympics has brought to my life in, in the pursuit of that goal every four years is, um, it's a gift and I'm so uh, grateful that others get to keep experiencing that gift. And I hope weightlifting is around forever and, and I hope American women and women all across the globe continue to have the opportunity to, to do so and to discover how strong they can actually be.